Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we had uh, just sold off all the jewelry we just made uh, from the gold we got from Kolskeger. And now we're going to move on to, you know, dealing with Serene Gerard and getting her to join us like we were supposed to do a while ago until I decided I should start investing more in making my better armor. Speaking of which, looks like a mercenary over there is wearing the armor set I kind of want to build, or more or less. Looks like they're wearing the gauntlets and helmet. There's been word of some trouble nearby. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way to investigate. Where are you headed? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Well, I could save you a lot of trouble. No, I think I've got this one. Thanks, though. Let's see if we can get any information off of them. Nope, they uh, don't have any sort of note I can take off of them to find out. Well, crap. Don't even think about it. Well, I was kind of thinking about it. I mean, you weren't going to be able to stop me, were you? All right. This, I just noticed the skybox flickered a little bit there. That was weird. Now we'll just continue to this little town here. Because it looks like I should probably have it marked off. My little list. What is this? Karth Waston. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Being harassed by cell swords. Cell swords out of my mind. Yeah. So top native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no forsworn here. Oh, and when would that be? I wonder. When I sell my land to the Silverbloods. The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. Well. If the forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. Oh, that's, uh, that's not your facial hair, that's your, uh, face paint. Okay. Trouble with the mine? Robbery is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. Why are you moving Forced backwards? attack the mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show up to help. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. What if I convince them to leave? You can try, but I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Well, that's what I'm going to use to threaten them with. Okay. All right, then. I'll pick this up and this up real quick. Okay. You better still be here when I get to you. The you. mine is closed. Get lost. I want you and your men to leave. Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Give me a reason not to plunge a dagger in your chest. They, they just keep moving me around. Whoa! I think I'll just kill you. Oh, wait a second. I was just kidding. We'll leave. We'll leave. Some people like to say that the face uh, models are not that expressive, but you just saw there, they are pretty expressive when they want to be. Uh, although that was a little too close for comfort for me. Yeah. Sometimes you get moved around a lot during the uh, speech with people and whatnot, and it'll screw things up a little bit. And by that I mean a lot of bit. <laughs> I'm one of the few native sun. Need something? Yeah, the cell swords won't be a problem anymore. That won't be the last we hear from the silver plots. But at least we can get back to work. Thank you. You've done a good thing for me and my workers. Yeah. Here, this is for you. Hey, thank you. Farewell. Farewell. Yeah, that was a pretty sizable reward, I'd say. I think we're pretty much good on that. And I'm sure because the silver bloods were interested in it, that mine is full of silver. So we'll come back to that later. And by later, I mean fairly soon. <laughs> because damn. Because damn. Now, what is with this cave here? Oh, I can take those. That's nice. Uh, ooh, one of those too. That's another. That's another mine. A completely different mine by the look of it. You know what? Screw it. We'll just gather all the silver we can now. So why the fuck not? Or 
is this even full of silver? Um, hmm. And this looks like it's been empty a while. Uh, I don't like this. I'm gonna have my sword out just in case. Yep, that's silver, so I'll take that at least. And if there's anything else down here, we'll find out shortly, I think. And last one. There we go. And nope, that's pretty much the entire vein. So we'll call that good. And we'll see if there's any more. It's kind of difficult to see in this sort of lighting, so... I gotta walk around and make sure at every possible spot. Uh, nope. No other places up here. Whoop. Go this way. This is the other way. There we go. And, nope, this is the end of it, so, yeah. No, the frame rate's kind of taking a little bit of a poop here. Kind of shit in the bed here. That's weird. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> and I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll gather up the silver in this one. Uh, just need to pop the pickaxe on so I can do it quickly. And we head up to the mine. Is there any other bars around here? Oh, well, there's a couple of ores. That I can take because they're so generous with me because I help them so much which is nice nice seeing that every once in a while I thought those were flowers I could pick Sanarach pretty sure that's what it was spelled and pronounced as <laughs> I don't really remember hearing it if I heard it I would be more sure but that's a problem with book learning half the time. You don't know what the fucking word is pronounced as. And do this quickly. God, this is so much faster than regular mining. It's not that much faster, but it is still monumentally faster. All you have to do is just swing at it like a fucking madman, and then you're good. go. If you have a lot of stamina, you could possibly do dual wielding and just do the dual wielding uh, spin attack. And that would easily get like one or down quickly. I think I got all of them out of this little area here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Unless there's some... Whoop, that was a bucket. Yeah, there's one down here. And there we go. That was a regular rock. I thought it was another vein. Um, nothing over there. And nothing over there. Okay. Got all of them out of this one. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Oops. <laughs> uh, that was funny. I thought it was funny anyway. You guys don't have to find it funny. I found it funny. Oh, come on. Let me... There we go. I'm just collecting that because why the fuck not? Saranok. How am I supposed to handle all this work? Oh, wah. Fucking do it. I might not like my job, but at least I can handle it. Jeez. Don't bitch about it. There we go. My job being not this, but working at a gas station. Just so you guys know. I love this. That work I don't like so much. Because this is more fun than it is a job. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got all the silver around here. Call that good. And we'll head off to do what we were intending to do in the first fucking place. Oh, come on, let me... There we go. 
Alrighty then. Cool beans. I'll just smelt them down real quick to consolidate their weight. I use that phrase a lot because we end up doing it a lot. And there we go. Okay. Awesome sauce. Now we continue on. And Serene's that way. So I'd have to go straight to the dragon den, basically. Let's pop on my sword. There we go. Or do my fire bolts. That way I have some sort of ranged attack first. And we will upgrade to fireballs as soon as we can. Uh, it mainly depends on when I can... Oh, wait. What is this? I forget what this is. Is this the Periite Shrine? I think it might be. Oh! Lucky. There we go. Take that. Okay. Well, that's one thing done. What the? I think this is the Periite Shrine by the look of this. Well, stamina poison. Purple salt piles. A diamond. Iron dagger of ice. That's a wood elf. Well, at least I can get the uh, blood for that. And chest. Elven, yep. Ooh. Take that. And yeah, I think we're good on that. Yeah, this has to be Periite's shrine. He's normally depicted as a dragon. Although, considered one of the weaker princes because he's not evil, basically. So yeah, this is Periite. This has to be. If I can fucking get up there, that'd be great. That way I can at least have the thing un uh, in discovered. That's what, that's what I meant to say, but I'm tr trying not to cuss while I'm climbing. Which is difficult in general. Because climbing is difficult in general. Okay, that's not going to work. Yep, there we go. I got it now. Cool beans. Oh, I used to. There it is. All right. We'll keep doing detours because we keep finding all this cool stuff that I'm supposed to be unlocking. Oh, uh, boy. And uh, there we go. Once I get down here. Yeah, there we are. Now, this is the guy we talked to to start, you know the quest with Periite, but we're not doing that quite yet. I just wanted to get it unlocked so that way we'd be ready to do it. And that's a wolf, I'm pretty sure. And... Down it goes. Okay. Oh, I thought there was like a human waiting right over there. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Coming out of nowhere. Surprise attack. Ah! Okay. And Serene should be just down this way. I find it funny the Reach is home of the Bretons. Well, some of the Bretons. They were the native people here. And yet it's also where the heaviest concentration of Dwemer stuff is. It's, it's kind of weird how that worked out. Uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, head down this way and... Uh, let's see how much weight I'm carrying. Let's let's do with the dragon. Let's do the dragon. Let's do something exciting this episode. And then we'll get Serene, because she's right over there. Now, what... What particular place is this? Dragon Tooth Crater. Don't remember what shout is here. Oh. There we go. It's a blood dragon. We can do that. Ooh, that's, uh... Someone's been trying to deal with them recently. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Look at those blips up in my radar. Uh, let's pop a, uh... Uh, la -ba -da -ba -da. There it is. Resist frost. Let's do that. Let's not waste the good one right now. We'll pop one of those. 
and might as well waste some of these. And oh, put me at the bad angle. You can kind of see me chopping at the face, but not really well. Iron Mesa chills at. Not gonna pick that up. Where, where are those blips coming from? I didn't even see them around me first time. Yeah, they'll come to me if they're really aggroed. Now I devour a soul. <laughs> there we go. Now we'll pick all these things up. First the shout. Whatever it is. Elemental Fury. Okay. So it's eh. if you don't have an enchantment on your sword, it's very good. But it counts as an enchantment when you use it. So if you have an enchantment on there, it will not work. I'm not sure if the uh, there are four blips there. Why are there four blips? Like right there. Why? I'm trying to get around. What on earth? I've never seen that. Are those bandits? Okay. Well, that was quick. Well, that was quick. Two bandit chiefs, and they couldn't even hold a candle to me. Jesus. People suck. And they just died right quick. Jeez. That was pathetic. Let's drop any arrows they have in me. Nope. They, I'm pretty much empty on arrows. They did not do that well. It's weird when you're falling and trying to do an animation because then it stops it midway. It makes it look weird. And then the sound effect plays twice, which is really weird. Anyway. Serene should just be on the other side here of this little bit of a hill. A little bit of a mountain as well. It's a bit of both. Alright. And, yeah, she's right there. Right across that river. That is rushing like a motherfucker. That might be difficult to cross. And, hmm. Huh. There's a little optional thing with her that you could try to do right now if I feel the need to, and I do kind of want to do it. Because I know where the location for the thing is. At least I think I know. Well, uh, take that. Hey, Foxy, buddy. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm pretty sure I know where it is anyway. I could swear I knew. Um, maybe it's the other side. That's, I know it's by the river. That's all I remember. There it is. Serene Satchel. Do one Dwemer Gyro, because that's what she's looking for. And there you are. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Yeah, I did, actually. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well... Just look around, will you? Yisran asked me to find you. Yisran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Uh, you had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Well, yeah, but... Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? 
Yeah. Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. <laughs> well, what are they up to? No clue, but they have an elder scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Yeah, I don't think anyone would. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. Yeah. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. Yeah. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. And I have one right here. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Here, I've got one dwarven gyro. Take it. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Uh, Fort Dongar. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? A little bit. It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Sounds good. Until next time. I'm not entirely sure what her, uh, research is at this point and what giving her that affects but I like to do it anyway <laughs> basically and uh, we'll end the episode right here thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video and share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games for you.